Hi, this is Jay with Atlanta on Wheels and Disco Techs down here in Atlanta, Georgia. And very proud to show you our latest build out, what we think is a truly extraordinarily uh, uh, interpretation of the Land Rover Discovery. Of course, we start with the best and most popular model, the 2004 SE7 in this case, uh, and one of my favorite color combinations, Bonatti Gray on Black. And from there, hey, we just went crazy. So starting up front, what you'll see up here is the Lucky 8 Bull Bar Bumper. We like this bumper. It's a clean looking design and gives you a very, very, very good approach angle because it fits tight to the body. Uh, we've added a Smitty Belt uh, Generation 2 wireless 10,000 pound winch with the fiber rope, in this case in safety yellow. So see what you're doing when you're out there in the woods. Uh, we added these high intensity fog lights. Now what you're seeing right now is the driving light feature. Okay, the key is on. Anytime the key is on, the truck is running, you're gonna get these little LEDs lighting up like, a, like a driving lights. And I'll show you in a minute the intensity of the, of the high output LEDs when we go into the fog light mode. You'll also notice we've taken the time to put lots of air slots in the drill and the grill to uh, allow air to pass since we halfway blocked it off with the, the winch and the lights. Underneath, uh, no effort was spared. Okay, Down underneath here, you're gonna find uh, polyurethane suspension bushings, uh, the terra firma sway bar, uh, terra firma steering damper, terra firma steering bar, terra firma differential guards, terra firma extended radius arms. Uh, pretty much everything underneath here was done. Stainless steel lines and of course, terra firma three inch lift kit and terra firma uh, 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 shock tower. So <clears throat> everything underneath there is done to a pretty high standard uh, for longevity and good off-road use. On the wheels, we've also gone with terra firma there. Here we're using the what they call the NATO wheel, the steel wheel. And of course, we're backing that up with the ever popular 33 inch BF Goodrich KO2 tire the preeminent off-road tire. We run the NATO wheels with 30 millimeter wheel spacers, terra firma wheel spacers. So our offset is, or our track rather, is real, real wide. Our total offset on the wheels is about 55 millimeters. And if I come way back here, you'll see the stance is dramatically wider than conventional, almost a foot wider track than standard. So of course we add the terra firma extended wheel flares to bring the wheels in line the body again. We've got the mandatory snorkel and we have fully waterproofed the intake all the way right down to the air box. Terra firma rock sliders with tree bars and we've added the anti-slip coating to them as well. Uh, up top we're using the very popular Voyager Overland roof rack. This is the one with the extra bar across the top protect your fog lights, and it's got the detachable basket in the rear if you want to build a platform or tent camp on the roof. This is one of the earlier versions that had the real heavy duty mountings. I, I prefer these mountings. They're very, very strong and really keep the roof rack from creaking or anything like that. You'll also notice, of course, that we've covered the roof in Raptor liner. Extremely, extremely hard, durable material. Protects the roof from anything you might accidentally drop onto it while loading uh, and just gives the truck a real good look, I think. Uh, overall, you'll find the body's in great shape. There's a, you know, a few nicks and dings. I think there's one right here on the door edge line. Uh, but on the whole, the paint's very, very sharp and the truck presents extremely well. Uh, we've added the high lift jack in the back, of course. Okay. And then back here, we're running the uh, terra firma rear steel bumper. Okay, a couple of red shackles in the back, yellow in the front, red in the back. The Voyager ladder again with a non-slip coating and a non-slip coating, and the original style steel tail light guards. Got the jump step step for the seven passenger. Of course, the the uh, uh, tow hitch. Uh, back here, we've added the the uh, spare tire extender and a full-size spare tire with a matching wheel and a little safety cable in case somebody tends to like it and want to take it with them. Uh, back here we've reinforced the frame with the 
uh, Rimmer Brothers rear extension kit. So that's all nice and clean, sharp, strong. Uh, and again, you can see the bodywork is just in excellent shape. Got the little special vehicles decal there. Oh, back here you'll notice too these rear lights, okay? So we've got what we call camping lights back here. And the way we've got those set up is all you have to do is reach inside the cabin, flip them on, and now you have lights out back whether the key's on, truck's running or not. They're always powered up, as are the front lights. So all the auxiliary lights are powered directly from the battery, okay? Uh, so I guess, okay, so over here then we're running the trooper axe and the outrageous crazy beaver shovel, okay, hooked up to the roof rack there. And then we're running the brush guards, or brush wires I should say, uh, from uh, England. These are directly imported from England, all stainless steel. We've got a quick detach fitting on it so you can get them off there in less than 30 seconds per so you can access the hood. You gotta have the wires off to be able to open the hood safely. So, or you can just take them off down there, quickly detach up here, put them in the trunk. You don't have to work drive around with them on. All the plastic in the car is in excellent, excellent condition. One of the few <laughs> you'll ever find that doesn't have the center crack on the windshield valence, which is very nice. Windshield, excellent condition. I think that's a new windshield, if I recall correctly. All the plastic overall in the truck is in very, very, very good shape. Again, as I mentioned, SE7. So, of course, we've got the, the rear jump seats. Okay. We also did a black headliner, brand new lifetime guaranteed black headliner. Uh, and as you can see, this is equipped with the optional third row air conditioner. It also has the full all-weather mat complement from Land Rover, including this is the mat that goes all the way forward. So when the seats are tumbled forward, you have mat protection all the way to the back of the front seats. Okay. So again, seven row. Seven row. Okay. Coming up here, you're going to find the interior is really in terrific condition, as you expect of a, of a truck with under 80,000 miles. It's just an excellent condition. The steering wheel is excellent. All the instrumentation is excellent, okay? There's our mileage. Now that number you're seeing there, that's a, a true mileage on the truck. And then the 929 is our test drive miles, okay? So we try to put a thousand miles in the trucks before we sell them. Uh, French stitch leather covers there. Uh, we've got the uh, uh, ultra gauge set up for you. Let's see if I get that power on. Okay. So you can monitor all your uh, vitals right from there there you go okay. uh, and again everything the seats everything are just in exquisitely good condition and, and, and I'm gonna post up I don't know many 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 photographs this is our fog lamp uh, here okay so I'm gonna turn those on real quick for you plus I'm gonna pop the hood well can't pop the hood because I got the brush wires on uh, but so here's how we look with the high intensity driving lamps on. So lots and lots and lots of light. And again, as you see, I don't have the truck running. I don't even have the key on right now. And I've got the lights on. Uh, I may do another little video on the engine. <clears throat> again, it's a fully remanufactured engine. The block has been stripped down, pressure tested, Bluetooth, uh, uh, blue printed on a CNC machine, Turner engineering, uh, top hat liners installed, uh, all new interior, all new internal uh, uh, major uh, wear components have been replaced, cam, lifters, the whole enchilada, uh, ARP head studs, remanufactured uh, heads, everything on the engine is done, all the ancillaries, coils, wires, plugs, hoses, water pump, catch tank, all that is all new underneath. Uh, and again, like I said, we do the thousand mile test drive just to make sure that all that work has uh, come out well. So. Uh, we think it's a pretty fantastic truck. Not, not, uh, not many on the market like it, I think is a, a, f a fair statement. So uh, I've been kind of long-winded, but please feel free to give me a call. My name is Jay. My phone number is 404-281-6468, 404-281-6468, and I'll be glad to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.